And she is a junior at Bella Vista High School. Um, within her local and school community, she is very, very active. She's an active member in various clubs and groups. Some of those programs include the Salam Youth Leadership Council, which she is the founder of. She also wanted to give youth in her community a voice. A voice in her local um, mosque. She was also voted president as well for her teen advisory board in Sylvan Oaks Library, which she is the vice president of and explorer at the Citrus Heights Police Department. And she, as she is an active member of her student government at her local high school. And I wanna bring her up right now. Can we get a round of applause for Celine? That was a bit too high. Okay, hi, shalom, ni hao, bonjour, hola, assalamu alaikum. These are all forms of greetings. And today I came here to talk about communication because as Mayor Steinberg said earlier, compassion is about talking. Compassion is about communication with other people. And in order to communicate, you have to build a personal connection with the people around you. And I think that's what we lack in today's society, and that's what I'm here to make everyone here aware of. For me, I believe that humans have always wanted connection. Since the beginning of time, we've always been clumped together. Why? Because we like being with other people. We don't like to create that line that divides us and them. It's just us, me, you, the person next to you, we're all people. And by the making that line, we are losing communication. And with technology today, we're slowly creating bubbles around ourselves, isolating ourselves from other people around us. We hide behind the wall of social media texting and tweeting, saying things, but we never talk to people one-on-one -on -one anymore. And that's where we're losing communication. That's where we have all these issues arising, all this conflict, because communication is not only about talking, it's about body, con it's about body language, eye contact. You see me up here, I'm moving my hands, like, hi. Yeah, that's me communicating with you. Over the phone, over text, you can't understand what a person is communicating. For example, this past summer, I got the opportunity to go to China. I was excited because I wanted to leave home. I wanted to, you know, get away from my little brother. <laughs> but when I got there, there was that language barrier and I started to miss home. I started missing my younger brother who would come annoy me every day to talk to him, but I was too busy on my phone, losing that personal connection with him. And we all do it. Who here has used their phone as an excuse not to talk to somebody? Yeah, it's a good excuse too. They don't wanna bother you. But that's the issue. Once you lose something, that's when you realize how much you miss it. And that's the same thing with communication. But communication also can solve our problems that we have today. I'm here to talk about two issues, I guess, that's going on right now. And it's because of communication, because we as a community lack communication with one another, with authoritative figures, with the people who need us. As was mentioned earlier, I am an explorer with the Citrus Heights Police Department, which means I've had experience working with the police. And before I started out with them, I used to be the person, I don't even drive, I used to be the person in the car as a police car comes by, I used to like tense. I was like, I don't exist, I don't see you, you don't see me. And that's where I got it wrong. When I started working with them, I realized that behind the badge, there's a person. And that we take the chance to use one issue in order to stop a whole, like we use, we use the stereotypes. And it's not only, the police is just a reference. We take a mistake that a human made because behind the badge, behind the bulletproof vest is a human and we use it to stereotype a whole group of people. But let's not use the police as a reference, but let's use it as a community. For example, the Muslim community. I'll, I'll use myself because I am Muslim. I mean, headscarf, yeah. And 
the Muslim community, there is actually 1.8 billion Muslims in the world. I was surprised by that, by the way. And not only, not, not even 1% are committing the act which the whole community has to bear. And I think that goes along well with everything that's happening here today. We judge a whole community based on the action of one person, and that's because we lack communication. Because here in Sacramento, we are a diverse community. You don't see just one type of ethnicity around you, just one type of religion around you. You see different types, and that's the beauty of being human. And that's the beauty of having communication because we learn new things by talking to new people, by seeing their points of view. We stay on that middle ground line, but because we're dividing into us and them, we refuse to see what the others have to say. We refuse to listen to other people. And that's compassion. Compassion is talking because when you talk, you understand what someone else is going through. And as you guys all know, refugees, people who need resettling, have been coming into the Sacramento area. The government has provided them with food stamps, housing, you know, with everything that they need, but it's the community that needs to provide help for when they are in need because they don't speak the language. They don't know how to, you know, they're just learning how to drive cars. They don't know our laws necessarily. And that's where they start making the mistakes. But if we as a community step up and we work together with them, we can teach them. For example, my mom works with these refugees and one of them is currently being evicted from their apartment because they made a mistake. They accidentally broke the washing machine and you know, stuff happened and it got flooded. But they didn't know how to work the washing machine. They weren't taught by anyone in their community and see that's where communication comes in. They don't know how to use the internet because in order to use the internet and search something up on Google or on your phone, you need to learn, know how to write. They don't know how to write English. And see, that's where we come in as a community. And luckily, we were able to communicate with the manager not to evict them. See, that's where community comes in and we help each other out. And that's where we stop with the stereotypes. And that's where we learn to communicate because we have a rich American vocabulary that we could use in order to articulate what we have to say. And that way we can work together to be compassionate and to find peace with one another to end the conflicts that we have today. Thank you.